Hello, good morning. First of all, we want to thank International Institute of Academic Research and Publications. Many thanks for this event, for this international conference, and for giving us the opportunity to present the conference will be transforming tourism destination, a case study in Catalonia, Spain. The co-author of this research is Marta Nello. She is the Dean of the Faculty of Tourism and Geography of Rovira i Virgili University, where I am doing my PhD thesis in tourism and, and leisure. Um, Marta is the coordinator of the Couture Network, and she is a member of GRATED, the research group for territorial analysis and tourism studies. Um, I am Alba Fon. I'm also working in URB, uh, in Rovira Virgili University, and the research line of my thesis is well-being, health and tourism in protected areas. I'm also a member of GRATET and, and Cotour Network. So here you have the index of our presentation. First, we are going to introduce uh, the well-being tourism concept and the profile of tourists that are looking for new experiences related to well-being. Um, in order to identify interesting and inno innovative initiatives in well-being tourism in Catalonia, um, we are going to talk uh, about different different activities and experiences in coastal, mountain, mountain and rural destinations in Catalonia, and also to explain an example of brand and well-being club. So today, given the context of the pandemic situations, experts are pointing to a tourism of proximity, more nature, slow life, mindfulness, tranquility, uh, more experiential tourism, and in short, transformative tourism, transformative to people, destinations, and society. We know that people are looking for the well-being, the well-being of destinations, the well-being of the planet, the well-being of tourists, and also the well-being of locals. People that are interested in health and well-being tourism are people over 30, especially women. They have a higher level of education and also an important job. When we talk about well-being tourism, it's important to, to say we are talking about uh, an holistic state of health. Um, it's about different dimensions. For example, is physical well-being, but also is uh, social well-being. Like for example, doing activities in group or for social cohesion. Um, also, we are talking about mental and spiritual and emotional benefits and also environmental benefits in order to promote a well-being of the planet and, and ecosystems. So we are going today to present new initiatives both from the destination management organizations and also from the private sector in Catalonia, because Catalonia is a tourist destination with a great natural and cultural diversity with endless proposals of tourism activities and different types of accommodation. And we have selected different examples to explain how they are um, developing new experiences on well-being tourism and not also because of the pandemic, because uh, from, from Catalonia uh, Tourism Board, they have a, a strategic plan from 2018 that just the main slogan was get away and recover from day to day. Um, and, and we know that with this proposal, we are going to show you different examples to introduce a well-being in these different dimensions where gastronomy, local products, uh, fitness, um, different um, food markets and festivals are really important to, um, to offer. Uh, a different program on, on well-being tourism activities for locals and also for tourists. 
So here, for example, we are going to start with uh, Salo. It's a um, major sun and beach and leisure destination in, in South Catalonia, in the Tarragona province. And they have a challenges program where um, they want to add a new model, a new tourist model is the health nature binomial. Um, they are working especially in sustainable, sustainability, uh, sustainable mobility, gastronomy, local gastronomy, sports and, and heritage. They have a program related with the sports and the fitness uh, centers and um, activities. And they are recovering and promoting the coastal path to get different uh, benefits from the sea. This is like what you can, can know is the, um, is the blue space. It's understand that, that for example, uh, many researchers are working and trying to understand uh, the green um, infrastructure, the green spaces are really beneficial for people, but blue spaces are also beneficial. So they are working on this concept of blue spaces and promoting the, for example, the coastal path of Salo. In the case of mountain, um, we have here an example of the Catalan Pyrenees. The, they are uh, special, specializing and creating their own brand um, of well-being and also a, a, a specific level. Um, they are also um, um, developing experiences of spas, massages, meditation, healthy gastronomy that's really important for Catalonia, the, the Mediterranean diet and the, and the healthy gastronomy. And uh, they say that the culture of health is rooted in our land, for example. Uh, embrace, reconnect, and take care of ourselves uh, to visit conscientiously. These are different slogans and and promotions of of mountain destinations in in Catalonia. Also, rural areas are are perfect places to develop wellness and well-being experiences. And in fact, we have many tourism establishments. Uh, well being tourism establishment in rural areas. And that's why that's because um, rural areas aims to connect and interact people with nature, with the land. And that's really important to understand uh, the connection between person and environment, the, between nature and, and people, and to understand uh, also cultural and historical um, um, aspects of this place in, relate, in relation with the people that are living and working in this land and they are creating the landscape of this place in fact and also to understand concepts such as for example the slow life concept the the local products the real local pro products and also to promote a lifestyle a healthy lifestyle and and relaxed life here you have two examples of rural hotels and that are seeking for a uh, well-being of tourists and also for locals for example is the case of the sport uh, hotel in fact the the name is really is really healthy and well-being and they are doing a lot of activities to take to take care of yourself they you have two options for example you can do an uh, an activity that they are doing um, every every week for example a class of yoga a meditation or something like this but you can also do a retreat if you, for example, if you are a tourist and you want to uh, do a retreat of different days. But activity is, is open to tourists, but also to locals. That's really important because when we talk about well-being, we are always thinking of the well-being of people that are living in the destination, not only for tourists. 
In fact, the introduction of new experiences on well-being, for example, activities such as retreats, yoga, uh, hydrotherapy, holistic techniques, that's really important, the concept of holistic, when we talk about well-being experiences, and that's an opportunity for develop a uh, sustainable tourism and uh, to bring the visitor closer to the people and culture of the place. Nature, in fact, is a source of well-being and inspiration to develop a new experience. As a trending activity, in, when we talk about well-being, is the forest bath experiences. Um, we have different proposals in, in forest bathing, not only in forests, but especially in natural and protected uh, areas, because it's easy are easy places to get accessible to people and to develop experiences related with nature and with silence that's really really interesting in the case of of looking for a uh, conscious bra breathing introspection and election and reflection practices that's also why different destinations are developing silence itineraries uh, doing yeah, as an individual but also doing with a specific and specific and special guide that help you to connect with silence to connect with flora and landscapes also, uh, as as example of workshops addressed especially to local people, for example, here you have natural cosmetics and medicinal plants in Catalonia in order to understand the, the benefits of, of plants to people and to our body and uh, to uh, understand the processes of plants and, uh, and to create organic cosmetic products. Then you have here the a festival that is doing this that that is this is this weekend in fact. And here you have a combination of activities. More some are are more active, like for example kayaking. But then you have acoustics uh, with soul concerts. Also, you have a sensory experiences, mindfulness, and painting. So you are combining here arts, creativity, silence, landscape, and nature um, in in a in a in a specific uh, festival that the village that the council are doing. Uh, these days, in order to promote to promote well-being to tourists, but also to to locals. So the promotion, uh, the collaboration between the public and private sector to develop new tourist experiences related with well-being, and when you are really looking for the well-being of people, it's important to work in collaboration and in, in, in with the same goal and, uh, and route. Uh, for example, is the Costa Brava destination is in the in the north coast uh, of of Catalonia, and they have the Wellbeing Club, and um, composed by the tourist office, the the county councils of Girona province, and also the private sector related with Wellbeing, and they have this guide with uh, different establishment and proposals of well-being. They have a spam, health resource, well-being centers, medical centers, healthy cuisine, wellness hotels, activity companies that are developing well-being experiences, also, also healthy forests and, and forest bathing experiences and well-being breaks. That's important to to understand that the well-being of, of a destination is composed by different offers um, on experiences and also different offers of 
of establishments related with well-being, like spa centers and well-being and medical centers. But it's important to have a, a collaboration between private and public sectors to develop this, this type of promotion. Then, this is in fact one of the conclusion, the important synergies between territorial agents, both private and, and, and public agents, um, we have as a conclusion that well-being can be a strategy to this, for diversify the offer of sun and beach destinations that are in, pro, in process of renovation. Blue spaces have a great potential to do it, to understand the benefits of blue areas and blue infra infrastructure. Also, rural mountain areas are ideal places to develop this type of experiences because you are really connected with nature and land, and they are working in this line. Um, natural related well being uh, has a long way to go in, in natural parks. We have here different proposals for bathing experiences in nature parks, but nature parks are, uh, are starting to understand the well being. Uh, benefits of nature and protected areas, but they don't have uh, a, a guide proposal of well-being experiences and, and they have to work on it. There are interesting initiatives in rural accommodation, especially related with gastronomy pro products and, and to promote and slow tourism uh, experiences. Uh, there are new professional profiles that are emerging, especially that's related with arts, creativity and mindfulness as a new tourist uh, experience is not only as, a, as, as an art or as a creativity, uh, creativity work. And we, we think as a result of this pandemic, the well-being is a reality that that is accelerating now and is growing around the the world so thank you many thanks for your attention we we have selected different initiatives and examples to identify and to explain you um, how well-being can transform tourists and also can transform destinations looking for the well-being of people, our society and, and the planet.